big fat mouth ass. You look like the life is three because you wasn't even doing it. You ran because the nigga shit. This shit deep in edge. Like, I got niggas on this hoe gonna scoot up from West End. I got niggas on this hoe scoot up from SMG. I got niggas on this hoe scoot up from so many places on my soul. I'm talking about just scooting for no reason. Responding to separate shootings at malls in Alabama and Massachusetts. Four people being treated after a shooting near the food court at a mall in Hoover, Alabama. That mall. They're shooting. They're shooting in a mall? With mad people in there? With mad people in there, they shooting in the mall. Dang. Dang, Alabama. Alabama wildin'. It's evacuated. And in the music, air for my then get on here and make this fake ass beat. If my son made a bad play with this shit, I would not be doing all this shit I'm fucking doing. Cause I love the motherfucker and that little baby that lost his fuck life. They put me in mind of my son. My son was just <clears> like that. <throat> just like that. Wanna rap, dress why like that, have wild, all that shit. Been doing that. Can somebody tell me why they in this white suit? Like like why they're in this like like crazy suit. That is that what it is? Like a crazy suit? I don't know what this is called. And it's crazy, they got the orange and white jumpsuits. I didn't know they still make those. I didn't see that in a while. That's crazy. Alabama on some old school stuff. They're making this like a movie, like the way they got them dressed. Being king at this goddamn kindergarten, you supposed to write in a notebook, my nigga. You write right. The Alabama mother have recently went to social media to voice her concerns and make some bold statements. Within 24 hours of her son accepting the plea agreement, it seems she was furious. In the clip we'll later check out, she feels that her son is going to jail for defending himself, but not according to prosecutors. In the case we'll later go over in this video, her son was involved in a shooting that left the eight-year-old autistic kid oh deceased God. inside of a local mall. Of course, later we'll go over the details while paying our respects to the victim. But we also go over the crews that was allegedly involved and check out the possible motive. But before we go over this one, I want you guys to remember, I won't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. Born April 4th, 2001, was King Gary Williams, also known as GBF King. Now, allegedly, GBF King had once made a statement that pissed the up-and-coming local rapper at the time, Big Yavo, off. Now, for those who don't know, Big Yavo is an Alabama rapper with millions of views on YouTube. I heard of Big Yavo. I definitely heard of Big Yavo. That is crazy. That's him? I didn't even know he looked. I thought he was dark skin. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, stay on the road like the Michelin man. Put a M on your head like a wow. Michigan fan. Four years ago, during the pandemic in 2020, Big Yavo decided to go live and respond to GBF King, allegedly saying F. Insley, which is Big Yavo neighborhood. Check out a small clip. Nigga, say from. Hey, it's all about respect on game. I already know my folks gonna scoot up for real. This shit, he put in Angela. I got niggas on this hoe gonna scoot up from West End. I got niggas on this hoe scoot up from SMG. I got niggas on this hoe scoot up from so many places on my soul. I'm talking about just scooting for no reason. You gotta know who the fuck. You feel me? You gotta know who, you gotta know a nigga background for you just get on here and say something. Or something. These niggas scooting by this, boy. You see, these people are like probably going at it. Over something so irrelevant. He said F his hood. So now he wants to beef with him. Bro it don't even matter. Like none of y'all own the hood. So. This is like dang bro. Like society has to do better. People still beefing over hoods. And words and stuff like that. We all gotta grow. Be more strong minded. That's, that's ridiculous. For real. Nah, why are you looking at the camera okay. like that? You see what little bro just said? You don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. True, true. Tell that ass fat man, we ain't going like that. We scoon. Like I said, shout out. I ain't gonna say shout out. Fuck with Day Day. 
I'm Bam, and I'm soldier off with Cinco. So a nigga can't say this about no hood. This about respect on God. This all is about this. I ain't trying to get on that horn. You feel me? Promote no type of violence. This just about respect. I got on Facebook, he talking about fuck in. So deal deals about all that. You feel me? All that extra shit. I ain't worried about none of that. A nigga can DM me if it's smoke. Anything. But we slime this way. So you shouldn't ever did it. Simple. I love y'all. Nah, that's crazy. He said all that before this happened. That is nuts. They not playing out there in Alabama. As we can see. Like, if the ed like how's the education system out there? Because ain't no way y'all over there just tweaking because somebody said F your hood. He must have been really trying to defend himself because I don't think he just going really up it in a mall because he saw an op. BF King had responded to Big Yavo live by going live himself the next day. Check it out. The whole ass, you been a bitch. I'm blood, boy. You been a hoe. I'm fine, boy. You... <laughs> Dang, bro, letting that black and mild like it's a spliff. What are you doing? This is crazy. He's beefing with an animal. Like, bro, I don't even call him that, but dang, like the black and mild, bro, like, you wasn't even a fraud doing this. Like, you just out here. Sober, just talking crazy. What are y'all even beefing for? Like honestly, like what's the what's the core problem here? Oh, it's that you wanna infect that ass, bitch. I'm just talking. Man, the beat and some other shit with me, man. Come out now with me, man. No kill. No kill. I don't be tripping on nothing. I don't be tripping on nothing. I just be watching. I just be watching, yeah, man, blood, that whole ran through on the side, that whole ran through on blood, yeah. I'm like, she can't say nothing. Ain't, a, ain't nobody ever did she's a boy. Man, shut your foot up, man. Them boy came through in your bitch. Bitch, out of there, boy, you bad, man. This, this, some, this some real streets, man. Just know that, just know this some real streets. She trying to hop in, man. This ain't no... What you talking about? I'm talking about we can meet up and fight. I dog your leg. Don't slime, bro. I know I dog your leg. I'm talking about nothing. You ain't never talking about nothing. When I was finna get at your head, when I was finna get at your head the first time, you know what? Reason say it, lad. I fuck. I fuck. My brother say it, lad. Okay. I start letting you come around. And yeah, you can come around. Don't say nothing to me. I do something over there. But see, here's when the internet turns into real life. Shortly after that laugh, GBF King and Big Yeva will meet up with each other unexpectedly inside of a local mall alongside each respected cruise. It was the first week of July in 2020 at Hoover's River Chase Galleria. Big Yavo and his crew noticed GBF King and H2K walking inside the mall. They end up approaching each other. Next thing you know, gunshots was let off. Now, GBF King mother had released a full video of this incident. I might as well play it now. Check it out. Big fat mouth is a hood of bull ass. Look at your ass. Look at the hair on there. Talk to shit. You walking mm -hmm. down towards them. They ain't studying you. They still walking. If you felt like somebody, you turn your back to them. They keep walking. You look at this with your nigga. You want to just. Yeah, everybody knew what you were going to do. They stand there looking, so you can't feel like your life is threatened because you wasn't even doing it. You ran because the nigga shot What? Like, wait. Now, a witness at the time said they heard a... Wait, who initiated it? Like, who Maybe initiated it? Because I'm confused. Like, I don't really see nobody up it. Like, were they the aggressors or the defenders? You ran because the nigga shot Now, a witness at the time said they heard around 17 shots, but not one person from each crew was hit. Four innocent bystanders were struck. One was fake. Bro, so they missed They missed each other. And then, and then y'all hit random people? Random. Nah, no way. No way. That's that's not even... Everybody stopped rapping, and everybody stopped doing that gangster stuff. What y'all talking... 
random innocent people. <sighs> like, what is the point? At like, there's no point. So nobody got touched on both sides. So is it really even beef? Eight years old, Rory Tate Giles. May he rest in peace. A love of condolences to his family. And his grandmother telling us today that they're trying to make sense of all that happened at the Galleria on Friday night as they continue to mourn the tragic loss of the little boy who is about to be in third grade. All right, people. Everybody's emotional right now. Everybody's angry right now. You know, everybody wants answers right now. And it's difficult for everybody because, like I said, this is a baby. And reflecting on Roy Tay's life today, she says that he was artistic, enjoyed music, and was so loving, adding that his life will live on, his legacy. Memorial plans already set for that child uh, that was killed, Roy Tay Giles. So this includes a memorial tomorrow night at 6 o'clock at the Bessemer Recreation Center. And Hoover City Councilman Derek Murphy is hosting a prayer vigil. That's on Friday night at the Galleria. Giles' funeral will be held Saturday at noon at the Bessemer Civic Center. Police will surely make an arrest. Three people, Demetrius Dwayne Jackson Jr. to the left, King Gary Williams in the middle, and Montez Coleman to the right. Fast forward to the last week of October 2024, Williams was sentenced to 25 years for the reckless murder charge and 10 years for each assault charge. The sentences will be served concurrently. King Williams will also be on probation upon his release. His mother was furious. Less than 24 hours of him making that plea agreement, she went to the platform clubhouse and said the following. The music, everybody and then get on here and make this fake beat. If my son made some foul play with this, I would not be doing all this fucking doing. Because I love the mother and that little baby that lost his fucking life, they put me in the mind of my son. My son was just like that. Just like that, want to rap, dress like that, how wild, all that. He been doing, I've been beating King at damn kindergarten. You supposed to write in a notebook, my nigga. You write raps. I done probably throw so much away. This nigga been doing it. I couldn't beat it out of that. Then you want to get on the scene because y'all both, everybody like it, both of y'all. And then you want to try to find a way to get my son out. You want to try and find a way to get him out. You want to make up this fake ass because you, because somebody said fuck in. My son say fuck in. He say fuck the gate in your city. The nigga steal the keys. So who give a fuck? Who want to die by one side of town? Who gonna die by? That's what I'm saying. Like this is some nonsense. Like, did, did you just make up some? Like, bro, you just said f that. And I guess, I guess, he, like, is Big Evo locked up too? Like, that is that what's going on? Like, I'm confused. Is he locked up for defending himself? Is that what's going on? Because. The, the way the mom explaining it, it's like he took a plea agreement and now they're still trying to slay him for defending himself against the other people. Or is it or is it vice versa? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Then you get in a mall and wanna fuck this man. This man wasn't even living here. This man left straight from Atlanta to here. Stop by the mall because everybody know that he my boy. No, they were shutting everything down for fuck COVID. He had to get here because guess what? His mama don't play by the holiday. His mama wanted to see him. I had to carry this weight for almost five years because if I if it wasn't for me having shit with my family, then my motherfucking baby wouldn't been rushing down trying to get with us so we could eat and we had to chill together. And you come in here to run in that mall to go get a fucking shirt and meet your homeboys that could get what? They know it's Christmas to them. It don't matter. My son ain't got a flaw. He ain't got a son for nobody. They got his heart. He wasn't raised like that. Nigga built on, he's solid as fuck. And anybody been in the county, they know that shit. That's fucked up, bro. I ain't gonna hold my piece on it. That's fucked up. I ain't already knew this, bro. That's fucked up, bro. Now, in June of 2024, Montez was sentenced to 30 years in prison. And Demetrius Jackson, his trial is set for January 27th, 2025, in which the family TV hopes to be live streaming.
New at 10, a suspect in the deadly shooting at the River Chase Galleria in 2020 pleads guilty to several charges. According to court documents, King Williams entered a guilty plea for reckless murder in the death of eight-year-old Roy Tay Giles. He also pleaded guilty to three counts of assault for three others injured in that shooting. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison for reckless murder and 10 years for each assault charge. The sentences will be served concurrently. Williams is the second suspect in the shooting to be sentenced. Montez Coleman was sentenced to 30 years in prison after being found guilty of reckless murder. Another suspect, Demetrius Jackson Jr., has a jury trial set for January 2025. As we wrap this video up, Rory Tay, rest in peace and love and condolences to your family once again. Fam, I don't know if self-defense really in full effect when you're talking about a public setting like the mall. But I'm here to bring the facts and I want to know what you guys feel on this one. This was the story. Yeah, I do feel like it was self-defense because like the other dude fake, from my perspective, the way they portray the story is like, he just said F Big Yabo Hood. He eventually saw Big Yabo at the mall. Started letting it fly, didn't hit nobody, you hit innocent bystanders, and you got caught up. Who y'all think is wrong in this situation? Do y'all think this is stupid? This this gotta be one of the stupidest situations that happen in the hip hop community.